Hey there, Wargamers, Justin our Painter here, and we are now live. For those of you who tuned in early, it's Mr. Clan Wolf, Nomadic Chris, Wooden Spoon. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. Um, let's make sure our screens are good, we're good, we're good. And uh, let's give a quick little shout out to Mr. Nomadic. What up, Nomadic, how are you doing? Hope you are doing well. Uh, sorry, uh, I see uh, I see Dragon too, sorry, what's up Dragon? Um, I'll be honest with you, both your names are green, and um, I thought it was you. <laughs> um, but yeah, give me just a moment, guys. Uh, I got Shanghai into doing a uh, Pokemon raid with um, um, my family, so I'm sitting here mashing buttons on my phone real quick until that's done. Um, so yeah, technically we're sort of live streaming a game, kind of, sort of. Um, <laughs> it's okay. I require no love. Um, nomadic. What's uh? Are you actually doing far side enclave or just red tau? What's your what's your plan here? Also, I apologize for being uh, late in general, not just because I'm playing Pokemon right now, uh, but because um, I overslept something fierce. Um, I uh, I woke up and then I was like, oh, just a second, let me rest my eyes, and boom, like an hour later, and I was. Like, Fuck. Yes, yeah, so it was bad. I'm a game streamer. Woo! Oh, Wooden, I didn't realize you had already uh, made it across the water. Yep. Well, at least you get to make it and hang out. I'm about to catch me a Blastoise. Oh, well, I guess the it's showing, you know, my jacked up screen here. That's funny. Oh, hold on. We're going to catch him. Don't be hating, Nomadic. I know you like the Blastoise. He's very cool. My favorite was Charmander. Blastoise is cool, though. This is number two. I can't hit him with a Pokeball, though, because I'm awful. That's, uh, that's just three that didn't even get all the way over there. That one was there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you like red, I highly recommend checking out um, Farside Enclave. That's that's the. There probably is some other red towel, but that's uh, the big one. The big one. Of course, um, now it's gonna not catch him, and I'm gonna be sitting on the stream talking to you guys while. I'm throwing Pokeballs and being a rude host. Mm. I feel like we're talking about messages that I've sent you, Wooden Spoon. And you're like, your message to me did not get me searched. I'm like, what did I say that would get you searched? Weird. There we go. Well, got the Blastoise. Wee. All right. So, um, what is going on here? Do you have some things to ramble about? Um, so let's switch screens here. This is going. No, 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 no. Paint. Let's see. Let's get our painting cam up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's fair. Okay, it's up. No, 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 no. Hang on, guys. I'm sorry. Still looking at the stupid phone. I'm ignoring you on purpose. You guys know. It's just what we do. Uh, 
I did print um, two things yesterday. I'm going to show you guys um, as we get going here. Um, as soon as this phone thing is done doing its thing. Are you done, phone? No, it's taking 800 years to load whatever I need to load. Jesus. Oh, I need to get ca caffeinated too. This is, um, come on. Ridiculous. Hey, my mom, thank you for going to lurk mode and keeping a view here. I appreciate that. All right, cool, cool, cool. Oh, it's still going. Oh, my God. Hold on. I'm sorry. Well, how's everyone doing? Good, good. I'm still sitting here looking at this damn phone doing its thing. Um, you talking about the recesses? I feel like, I feel like black would make sense, but that's just what I'm used to. And that would be a good place for, um, I feel like oil washing. Um, but it really depends on how dark your red is as to if the panel lines will show up. Or I guess earlier when you were talking about it, me talking about gray and uh, white wasn't really going to help for panel lining if that's what you're talking about down in the recess. Um, not going to help very much. Oh my god, this thing's almost done. Ugh. That's what happens when I wake up late and I get shanghai into doing this thing um yeah, yeah 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 um i was thinking more like um farsight's um little he's got like gray panels and then sometimes he's got um gray tick marks for like rank and stuff what's up sith how you doing man They're watching me dick off on my phone for the moment because reasons. What project? Because I feel like your yellow used the magenta into like white or something but are you talking about something different I'm talking about like using a different color okay all right so that's all I'll take care of finally um did I miss a message from Amanda I did My my phone's running so. All right, all right, all right. So, um, yesterday, this is where we got to on these fellows. Today we've got um. Oh, still hang on. We need we need a we need a sip of coffee here. My head's a little hazy, so I, I got up and I rushed through everything. I didn't really get to wake up. 
Anyway, um, I want to do um, some quick white lines on the canopies or the cockpits. Um, this guy's got uh, for this one I use the Zenith Prime black and white and match the dark purple and shadows we get a little in the highlights. Oh, okay. How is that different from your other process? Because it sounds dynamic to me. So, um, this one I need to do a little bit of silver up here. And I know, I know, um, um, people are going to be agitated that I painted that as the cockpit and not the little slit under it, but I like that, so that's what I did. I am aware that that's not the cockpit and that's a canopy above it. I like it, so that's what I'm doing. You can't really see the slit very well, so I painted that. And then, there's our awesome. And it's his little cockpit was such a small area. It's really not a lot going on in there. Uh, but that's where we are on those. Um, so we're going to do some white lines on the lenses uh, to get them to just pop a little bit more. Um. Oh, okay, okay. That makes sense, that makes sense. Well, from what I could see in the, um, the video clips and the photos, the red was looking pretty awesome to me. Um... You do a lot of stuff I never do, or probably never even tried much of. When I do red, I do like um, a brown into tan into white or something like that. Um, purple does make sense. I just I've never done it. I probably should try and play around with stuff like that. Um, but anyways, what's up, focus, focus. Uh, so I printed up a bar geist, bar geist. What's up, Steiner? How you doing, man? Quick little, uh, quick little shout out to Mr. Steiner Miniatures here. If you guys aren't following him, hit that follow button, show some hobby love. Um, oh, I still got some supports on here that need to come off. Um, but yeah, this is Dragon. This is one of the files you sent me. I'm not sure whose this is, or who made it. Yeah, dude, I'm foggy as shit right now. Uh, I almost didn't get on the stream because I overslept today, and I'm just really, really tired. What up, Noah? How you doing, man? Um, man, you're tuning in two days in a row. Two days in a row. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really cool. I did scale it down, um, because it was huge, and now it will fit on a base, sort of. Give or take. Uh, it was probably almost 20% larger than this. Um, it was massive, so I did shrink it down to fit on a base. Um, yep. Yeah. I figured the feet overhanging like the other mechs do is not too bad, um, but it, it's it's he's adorable. He's a cute little thing. Look at him, and then he's got a little tail. I mean that's true, but I, I also didn't want him falling off the base either. Like so, scaling him down to fit on the base is, was important. So, and uh, Noah, what's going on, man? How you doing? Are you getting the urge? Am I motivating you to try some painting, some some tabletop gaming? Uh, and then, um, let me, um, let's see here, um, turn down, I guess that's fine, let me turn it down on mine a little bit. Well, if you, um, if you do work with Colby on it, there are some tabletop games that aren't as expensive as you think. Um, Warmer 40k, for example, is expensive, but long term it's cheaper than Magic um, because uh, even with them doing what they're doing, you don't have to. You, the stuff doesn't rotate the same way. Um, and if you play something like BattleTech or Infinity or a different game that's not 40k, it's even um, even less or even more forgiving on the wallet uh, and 3D printing, um, which you know Colby can do. Um, <clears throat> but um, um, those smaller scale games. Um, aren't as bad and the investment of a couple hundred bucks up front is nothing like you, sp you could drop a couple hundred bucks on just land and magic um, I don't want to push too hard on you for it but I, I, do, I do think that um, you uh, you and Colby might enjoy um, um, Underworlds Age of Sigmar's um, kind of board game sorta deck building sorta game you have a deck mechanic with cards plus minis you move on a board and you have like four or five minis tops um, and, um, uh, it's inside the fantasy realm, which he really likes, so that would be, 
something I think you might enjoy because it's got a little bit of a lot of things that you guys enjoy together. Um, you know, but I'm more of a sci-fi guy, so that's why I skew that. Um, but yeah, so for a moment, guys, we're going to get on a, uh, um, um, uh, well, Steiner, um, I have an Infinity Army that is in various stages of paint that aren't from me. It's because I, I traded for a lot of stuff. I'm considering moving it because I have a whole bunch of Ariadna and I have a little bit of Pano uh, and I have a lot of Hakuslam. A lot. And I love the way the Hakuslam models look. Um, but I don't think I'm going to have time to paint them and no one here is playing Infinity. So um, I may have some stuff that... Um, um, though that's personal stuff that uh, I may be selling, but it would be at a, a, a discount. Uh, yep. Hawk Islam and uh, U.S. Ariadna, uh, they both had a modern sci-fi feel and not a uh, cyberpunk feel, and I loved it. Um, they looked great. And I got the Kapokalki is the um, sub-faction uh, that I focused on. I have a whole lot of um, Hawk Islam. You can play anything. But I also have some of the uh, models from Nomads that Kapokalki can use with in, uh, Hawk Islam models. So I got some tags, uh, or mercenary tags, and I've got the mobile brigada, which look really cool. I got a lot of stuff. <clears throat> so um, I have not um, have not 100% decided whether I want to move them or not. Um, but I've got Star Wars Legion. I've got uh, with clones and rebels, and rebels aren't really built, but uh, or expanded. But I have a little bit of them. Uh, I've got. Battletech, that's taking up a lot of space. 40k, and I've got Dark Angels and Iron Warriors. And at some point, my Tau from Wheels. I got my US Ariadna from Infinity. Got a little bit of Pano from Infinity. And then the Hawk Islam. Um, I just don't know when I'm going to have time. And if anyone even plays. Yeah. If people here played, it would be a good thing to play on um, stream, I think, too. Low model count. Um, cover systems would be a little wonky, trying to make sure you get, ma or get pieces placed where the stream viewers would want them to be. Um... But as long as you're playing with some degree of uh, leeway, I think it's fine. Just like we did with um, uh, Battletech. It's like, oh, okay, you know, this is where you want to be. Uh, it's really, really close and your intention was for cover. Okay, we're just, we're just going to go with it. Just make it simple, you know. So, But anyways, uh, we're going to get on more of a, a serious um, tone for, for just a moment here. Uh, so we haven't really talked about it on stream. Um, it's more of a, a respect thing. And also, I don't know how to deal with serious subjects very well. Um but and nomadics here so uh he can fill in some gaps with anything he may know um he reached out to me uh i don't know a, a week ago or so um and i've only spoke with him and clan wolf and then austin at the shop about it and um i had just made a comment during the stream about has anyone seen for bias i hadn't seen him in a while hope he was doing well um you know general you know questions about him because it had been a few days um and then I got a message that day from Nomadic that was like, did you, did you hear the news? And I was like, no. And he had uh, let me know that Forbias had passed away. I think it was December 28th. Um, so um, I had, you fast forward to yesterday and um, um, Thunderhead uh, had asked me about painting a miniature for him. And then I got to looking at it and I was like, this would be a really cool model to paint um kind of in honor of for bias um like in remembrance because it's a um, kind of a downed mech and kind of re represents the physical manifestation or physical touch that he he left on the world with people despite the pilot or the essence of what makes it function being gone um so austin uh, i reached i spoke with him yesterday and we have designed um <clears throat> We've designed, so he's got a base, it looks like this, right, so that's his base, it's really poopy, but that's his base. Um, so we designed in the 3D program um, a base that comes up like this, and there's a lip for the mech to sit down in right here, <clears throat> and then there's a a little thing that comes out like that. And then it says for bias. In here. And it's embossed. So this mech will sit down in that base. The base is probably about like that. And then his name will be on the front. 
So that'll be pretty neat, I think, um, to kind of um, pay homage to our uh, <clears throat> stream friend, our stream community member here. Um, some of you guys may know him, some of you guys may not, um, but that's kind of what um, what I think would be would be a cool way to um, uh, immortalize him a little bit and remember him in the stream. So, if any of you guys know him, that's what that mech is going to be for. Um, uh, yep. Yeah. Um, oh, there it is. Um, so I figured that would be would be really cool. Um, I haven't settled on colors. I can't remember if he said his favorite color was blue or red. I feel like it was blue. Um, that's what my gut's telling me. Not just because I just painted blue, but because but because I feel like he said something while I was painting the blue. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, Dragon. It's um, it's very unfortunate. Um, <clears throat> he um, he definitely got around the the Twitch community. Um, he mingled with a lot of people. Uh, this was kind of his um, his social circle, his social outlet um, on Twitch. Given that he spent so much time at home um, and at the doctor's office and stuff, like even when he was getting his um, um, his weekly um, dialysis god I was thinking transfusion I'm like that's not right dialysis when he's doing his dialysis even when he's doing that he had people up on his phone or his tablet listening in to streams because we were his friends and his community uh, even more so uh, now or you know at the time than ever because we were locked down with COVID and you know he wasn't able to get out uh, much before so we really were some of his closest friends mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, oh yeah, man, fucking, I gotta type because you can't hear me. Man. Okay. Uh, so, today, um, what we're gonna do on these won't. I know, we're, we're going from, like, somber serious to painting, but I don't deal well with, um, serious subjects so sometimes moving forward helps so that's what I do um, uh, but as soon as we get these um, these white lines down um, and the couple of touch-ups I want to do on these um, we're gonna lay down some of my crackle paint to start the basing I doubt that'll be done by the end of the stream but um, I do want to talk about the next Lance. Maybe get some feedback from you guys. We'll look at what I've got and we'll see about forming the next Lance of uh, mechs to, to focus on. Um, assuming you're looking at the screen,
use that. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm sitting here doodling. Uh, it's the right leg plate. Or leg grief. Um, we're painting or we're printing the bracers right now. Um, one of them should be done. Should have been done this morning. Um, if it looks good, we're gonna print the other one. Um, it's just look. It's gonna look better than uh, foam was with the resin designs we we're gonna do. We just printed the whole thing. This is gonna be a lot better than doing foam. Um, so if we can get that printed at a really high quality, the it'll it'll take longer to print, but it'll be faster to clean up. But it's uh, it it wraps the whole leg. Um, so if our pr our printers can't do it, if yours can, uh, and you're able to do any kind of resizing, um, actually Austin might be able to resize before I send you. Uh, if you can't resize it uh, properly, I can t talk with Austin and we can measure my leg and see if he can resize it and send you over the STL um, uh, to print. Uh, I have a pretty average size calf, so I don't think it'd be too bad, but. Um, that's going to be a hell of a lot faster than trying to um, make that out of foam. Uh, I, I'll have to check. Um, I'm checking the file to see what the um, the circumference of the ankle is and the top of the right below the knee. Um, we'll have to check. I got a feeling it's probably going to fit because uh, I'm not a particularly super small, super big guy. I'm just average. Um, but uh, I'll have Austin check and we'll see. Uh, I do know that we've got those. I don't know what brand of Ender. We don't have the what, DM or XM. Um, um, but we have the one under it and it's too tall. Um, so there's a chance that that might be too tall for you because the bracers go from, I guess, like here to here. Give or take, um, that's probably about eight inches, I reckon. Um, that might be close. That might be close. The bracers are probably, mm, mm, they might be ten to twelve. Um, I'll um, I'll talk with Austin. We'll see if I can get some dimensions. If not, I'm up shit creek. I ain't got anywhere to print that thing. The problem is, is um, we're probably going to have to split it. Oh, oh, you're talking about cutting it in half this way, not that way. Yeah, Austin mentioned that too. Yeah. That's fair. That's something we can do. If it becomes necessary. And Clan, I think you mentioned you were painting today. So what are you? What are you working on, man? That's probably about as good as it's gonna get. I'm not still not 100% on it, but it's so hard to get in there. I'll finish up a dude. 
That's fair. So like, yeah, you might you could be able to turn it. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the hypotenuse of the triangle would be longer. Yeah, that's fair. Well, we'll see what we could do. Um, or or check it. Let me know what your thoughts are on it. If it's something you think you could do, um, I'll get some um, some dimensions from Austin. Okay, let's get Broski here. Let's see, he, he's got like these little beams that go right here. It's like his, his canopy, you don't really see much of it, it's really tiny. And Clan Wolf, you were uh, off tomorrow, I think you said? Is that right? Uh, yeah, rifle stuff looks great, man. work tomorrow. Okay. Well, um, after Amanda time tomorrow, if you are awake, we could play some games. Okay. It varies. It varies. Um, I'm usually home before 11 my time. Usually. But if she can't sleep, I'll hang out later until she falls asleep. She works Friday morning, so I'm usually out. Hey, Weston Reaper, how you doing? How you doing? Let's get these um, a bit of dibble dots on here. Like it's gonna be tough. So I think he might just get like a dot in the corner. Yeah, 
Ooh, I think we might be able to get down in here and get this a little bit of something. Ain't much. I'm gonna get a little something something right down here. Put a little diddle dot up here. And then do a little dot and a little. Oops, I'll tighten that up a little bit. Got away from me just a smidge. Uh, well, what uh, what options you got, Western? What you what you looking at? What games? That's probably fine. And so he's got that already, so we need a little dibble dabble of some silver. If I can get this without messing up my cockpit here, we'll be all right. Okay. Oh, very cool. What uh, what forty K army are you working on? I'm not as familiar with Age of Sigmar or D and D.
Nice! Both of those are cool. Harlequin's got a lot of personality. For Space Marines, so do Space Wolves. I'm a Dark Angels guy. So gotta be on the other side of the fence, but they also have some character too. A bit more, uh, something going on with them over the Plain Jane. Of the normal Marine Bros. So I want to hit this with um, a little bit of wash and a quick highlight, and then I think we're done with those canopies. Hang on, guys. I got a business message real quick. I need to tend to... Uh, I'm not sure, and it's actually my third lance. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, my first lance was purple and black. Yeah, that's funny. You got jokes. I want to wash these real quick. This should be off of this black. I just need a quick little dribble. Don't need much. Uh, but yeah, so uh, next lance. I'm not sure. I'm actually thinking about working on finishing my uh, Star of Clan mechs first. Um, um, uh, now see, I've got a, I have a red lance too that Joe painted me, so I'm gonna end up having overlaps on colors at some point. Um, I'm thinking of reserving green for my um, the lance that has my um, um, uh, Mad Dog in it. Green being my my favorite color, um, but we're running out of color options here. And of course, I could just do, you know, um, do the same colors again. They'll be slightly different than the previous ones, and that's fine, you know. So I'll just that second, we'll hit it with highlight and be done. Um, I think that could be cool. Um, I'd have to pick which color scheme I wanted because I've got three right now. I've got blue, red, or some blue, black, blue, red, blue, purple. Um, each lance I'm trying to have a, a slightly different variation. So on the tabletop, they they're cohesive. Um, um. That would be cool. That would be cool. I'm trying to stick with my um, uh, my custom stuff. So the base needs to be black, a metallic stripe, and a color. That's what all my mercs do. Um, the colored stripe could change my actual... Um, hey, Nox, thank you for that sub. 12 months, man. One year. Whoop, whoop. One year. It's hard to believe you've been looking at my ugly face for a year, man. A year. Thank you. That's uh, 26 um, subs for the month. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, timer. Let's see. Update. 26. 
Alright, so, um, my other lance is actually purple, uh, gold, white line, or excuse me, black, uh, gold, white line, purple. So, having these stripes that separate the colors have some variation is fine, too. Um, that'll work out just fine. Um, I was thinking about putting a decal on the leg of Broski. That's something we could probably tackle pretty easy, too. Um whatever my solution is for that. Who knows? Alright, so we need a little bit of this. Don't need much. That little dribble will probably do it. So just want a little bit of a highlight up here. So I have a little bit of a stray there. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking about doing that. Could look cool. What up, Snoopy? How you doing, man? Let me see if I've got my. Um... All right, give me one second, guys. I'm gonna grab. Um my decal solution. We might try and set a decal on this guy today as well. So give me one sec. Zeno spotted.
when I talk about trying to get to a point where we have a dedicated space to stream, I'm fucking serious. I went to get up and find my stuff, and A, took forever to find it because my shit's lost, and B, got tangled up in my headset and banged into shit trying to get out of here because I have, like, this much space to do anything, and it's so incredibly frustrating that I'm crammed in a tiny hole. And then, like, yesterday I was looking at a um, Facebook group where people from the community are posting their, like, stream setups, and I'm so utterly envious that people have a whole fucking room to paint. And like this long wall desks and shit, and I'm just like, cool, I'm in a corner, and everything is piled up. It's, it's, it is suffocating how much shit gets crammed into a small space. It's very frustrating. Anyway, I found what I was looking for after running around the house trying to find them, and then tripping over stuff, and getting my headset tangled on my chair. Anyways, we got a raid from Zelicons. Hey man, how are you doing? How was your raid? Welcome. Yep. No <laughs> free burritos. Yeah, you know, Clan Wolf's gonna give me shit, but I am probably about to drop a um, checker pattern decal on the Thunderbolt's leg. I think it'll help break up the uh, the colors a little bit. So it needs to be about that big. So about three long. About three. Did I forget something else? No, I was about. I was literally about to flip and shit. Okay. Where is my stuff at? If I can find anything. Or not what I need. Also, I'm gonna knock my shit down. Come on. That's not what I need. Um, that is from the same container. Where is that thing at? Why am I losing my mind? Okay. I'm back. Enjoy your meeting there, Wooden. And, um, or I wouldn't, sorry, uh, Knox. And, um, thank you for popping in there, uh, Wooden Spoon. I appreciate it. And, uh, Zelikon's assuming this is what you work on today. Very cool. Also, did you write LOL on his arm? You're using Fallout Hobbies stencils. I think. Nice. Did you know DRD makes stencils? Adhesive ones. And uh, that's pretty cool, man. Not to uh, switch gears too much, but uh, very cool. I dig that metallic. It's super chrome looking. Nice. 
There you go. Uh, so here's our stencil line. Um, looks like he's using patterns. In particular, he's got hex going on. And they are translucent. I have um, I have what's left of a sheet that I used. I'll show you. So, um, you peel this off, and then you could use the big sheet like was in the picture, but it leaves all these areas. And for digi camo, these are great to keep because you can peel them off, and then you can put them on a model, and you can form digi pattern manually if you want to. So this is one of the few stencils where uh, I recommend keeping the trash part because these are useful. Um, especially if like that big sheet's just too much to put on a smaller model. You have all these little parts you can put. It's tedious putting them on and pulling them off, but you can use it. Uh, but this is also transparent or translucent uh, in that you can see through it. So I'll cut off a piece and show you. If I can get the decide to curl it for me there we go all right so you can see through it and then you can peel it off and you can save these and you can reuse them um, a couple of times um, the adhesive backer will eventually come off but you can use it uh, a few times yep and they're pretty durable now, granted, there's nothing cut out of the center of that, so like the hex pattern, if you yanked it, it would tear, but if you're gentle with these, they'll work. And then you just be like, alright, well I got that where I want it here, I'm just going down here and, you know, put it down. Do you peel it up? Yep. Um, and like the digi camo stuff, so like if we wanted to digi camo this, so let's say you spray down whatever color you want these to be, and then you come in and you start laying down your digi camo patterns. I was going to do a tutorial on this at some point and just uh, stopped doing Patreon stuff. And just kind of pattern out where you want them to be. And then you spray them and pull them up. Yep. Now again, this is the this is what's left over. You would have a whole square that you peeled out that was just all digi camo in that one. But we got a variety there. And if there's something we don't have that you think we could make, just send us a message and we'll see what we can do. Um, um, yeah. So we do have a coupon code that save you ten percent. Doesn't help so much on the shipping, but at least these products are light. Okay, so, um, I don't know what the lead times are for, um, what the fuck, for Fallout Hobbies right now, but I know, um, we ship out very, very quickly, very, very quickly. Yep, uh, Blast Shields are really cool too. Um, they are made from a different material. They're not transparent. They're made out of uh, oil board, um, and they're really good for doing marble effects. Um, your big gun plow models, they'll probably be fine on because they're large. The blast shield would not do very well on this because it's very small and very um, got lots of uh, small details and rounded surfaces. Uh, using the blast shield for bases and terrain is great, and large models. Um, little stuff like this, it's going to struggle. Okay. 
Yep. Yeah, we got some checkers. The hex pattern is very popular. Our Harlequin pattern is very popular. Our hex half tone, our hex flux field, those are very popular. We sell a decent number of the hazard stripes, but the hex and the Harlequin are very, very popular. Um, and then we've got texture stuff, and then our camo stuff. So like digi camo, woodland camo, hex. Uh, I guess the I don't know why hex flux fields listed under camo, but I guess it could be some kind of digital sci-fi thing. I don't know, uh, but that's where it is. All right, so I'm gonna grab some high gloss here. I'm just gonna put a little bit on Broski's leg. Whoa, that was way more than we needed. Yeah, he could have just listened to me, but no, you made your easy way again. That's funny. Like, what what happened in this story? I feel like we missed something. What happened here? Also, Zelicons and Dawn. Um, I'm not sure if I've spoke to you before about it. Um, and I apologize for the hair dryer here. Um, have I talked to you guys about Gamma Wolves before? So hang on. So there is a reason why this here, this Zaku that Austin painted, he is on a base. He's on a base, right? Which seems mundane, but it's on a base for a reason. a piece of masking tape and cut out not in checker boxes the pattern and was wondering hey that doesn't look like I just feel <laughs> all right so though it's on a it's on our, our basing for gamma wolves um, um, but we have gamma wolf starter model scale which would be um, uh, gun plus size stuff which is why this big old boy is on a base gun plus and then uh, Wargaming would be small mini strict on. Thank you. I appreciate you keeping a view here for us. Thank you very much. Um, uh, so we have two different sizes. This is for a war game. Let's see if I can find the war book. Yep, there it is. Here's the... Uh, ooh, they got a hardback book out now too. Ash Barker from GMG, Gorilla Miniature, Mini Gorilla Miniature Games. And... Um, it's uh, published by Osprey, and it is um, <clears throat> it is their uh, um, their model agnostic game uh, rule set that lets you play with whatever robots you got, uh, and you can play on model scale for Gundams, or you can play on um, 40k scale, you know, and it's got rules for that. It's not pointy enough, real scale on it. Um, and it, it, it varies, too, because in Gamma Wolves, you've got um, different base sizes. So you've got um, a large, which is like your heavy, and then your mediums, which are the three at the bottom of the screen here, and then a light. 
So you may end up having stuff that's scaled differently where you get a larger scale gunpla for the large base and maybe a slightly lower scale for the medium and then a really tiny one for the light, something like that. But it lets you play with stuff that's a lot bigger than, uh, say, 40k scale or Infinity or Battletech. You could totally play Battletech with Gamma Wolves. You would just get the other the, the model scale bases. Um, but this lets you use your big boy models if you want to. So um, Now, we do sell the stuff for this whatever on that um not trying to push it on you what i think is more interesting is if uh if you you and your group are interested in picking up this rule book again i don't get a, i don't get a cut for this either um but for 13 bucks you could get the digital copy of the book and you could flip through the rules and see if you like it um and if you do all your gundam models can sell all of a sudden be tabletop models you could play some games with buddies you know, food for thought. It's not for everyone, but um, Ash Barker's a cool dude and uh, might be something uh, uh, worth checking into. So. Okay. Now, I think that's uh, had a moment to dry. So, let's get our decal prepped. <laughs> the models are hand grenades. They barely held on to the stand. That's fair. What's up, Lando? How you doing, man? Still needs a little bit more time in the water. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, Lando, uh, I had a rough start this morning. I've gotten flustered on stream because I keep can't find stuff that's scattered. And I got tangled up in my headset and tripped around the bedroom trying to get out to find parts and or tools. And I overslept. It's It's... I didn't start the day out on a good foot. Let's be honest. All right, let's let's be honest right there. It was it was not not the most graceful start to my day that I've ever had. If I'm honest with you, um, but we're here now, and we're gonna try and continue moving forward as we do. As we do. All right, now this one's got a wrap around his leg here, so that is uh, that's a lot of decal here. Probably way more than I needed. Probably being an understatement, it is definitely more than I needed. But it did wrap back around, so that's cool. But getting it to line up, different story. So, let's see if I can't get a little uh, doctor cut going on here. Oh, we're going to have to hold it in place. All right, hang on. This is going to require some precision here for me. Ah, fuck. That's going to be rather difficult to achieve. So. And my decal folded on itself. Cool. Alright, decal. Can you unfold yourself? You want to unfold yourself? You, 
Do, do, do you want to? No? No? You, you don't want to unfold yourself? What, what have I... What have I... On the galactic scale of things that could go wrong, what have I done to deserve a day of hardships? What did I do? Did I do anything? Why is this not unfolding? Did it fold this way? I don't think it did. What are you doing? Ah! So I got the flap, and then you just fold right back over. You, but you decal, you sir. Thank you. That's all I needed you to do. I like how I talk to inan inanimate objects. Oh my god, decal, are you kidding me? You just folded up in the same place and I just cut you. Cut, get out of town. Whoa. Whoa. Maybe I shouldn't have done the decal. Maybe that's just where the the, the the where the things are too. All that just to put a little checker pattern on his leg. <sighs> oh, yeah. I'm using it. The problem is is I'm wrapping around uh, I'm not just doing like a shoulder pad which would curve here I'm wrapping around completely um, the leg and I was trying to cut it where it touched right here and it was very hard to get in there um, and it's not perfect I should have I should have started here like on the inside and then had the flap over here so that I could get to it I'm an idiot I'm an idiot yeah yeah Don, I got a, I got a little experience doing decals. I've been around the block. Make pew pews, not qqs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I got micro saw, I got micro set, I got gloss varnish and matte varnish on my desk. Um, I've done plenty of 40k minis in my day. And they all got micro saw, micro set, gloss coat first, matte varnish after. 100%. Hang on. Oh, why? Today. What is going on today? Why? 
It's uh, it's royalty free music I got from Humble Bundle Noah. Um, there's no actual. I mean, there's names to it, but there's they're not on YouTube. Um, I believe it's... I don't know. It's a good question. My dice don't help. You probably have. I don't understand what's causing the problem. Coupon code not working for someone. Me having to fix it, trying to fix it, and it not working. And this has been a recurring problem constantly. Where store credit codes don't work. That was really weird.
Oh, come on. That's awesome, Jojo. How are you doing? Some of this here stiff. Alright, let's get a poopy brush. Poop brush, poop brush. This one will probably do. Jojo, I printed a cool mech yesterday. And all good, man. All good. Your uh, your presence in the stream is appreciated. We don't catch you too often. You uh, you also might not have heard of my little snafu with my uh, battle tech designs. The, uh, the hexes on my very first building were off, which has caused a cascading failure across all the buildings I've made. Every one of them has the wrong size hex base, 
which has thrown all the dimensions off. Every single one. And because they're so close to um, the edge, it's very tight tolerances to maximize the size of the building within the footprint. I couldn't just resize the base. It has caused a catastrophic failure across the totality of the designs if I want them to match the, the basing sizes properly. Uh, and we're not talking like a little bit over. Like it, it's so big that they wouldn't line up on the maps very well. Um, it would have been very obviously off. Um, so yeah, that happened. Uh, I've been spending the last couple days trying to fix them. I've fixed two buildings of my ten designs. Two. Yep. I didn't want to. I told Austin, I said my first gut instinct was be like, fuck it, it's done. My designs aren't happening. It's a lot. But... It was a lot of effort, so I sucked it up and started working on fixing them. Glutton for punishment, maybe. Trying to aim at only the decal there, because um, the uh, the bottles for the uh, the solution for the, um, um, the crackle paint literally say not to speed up the drying process because you won't it won't crack right. Is that um is that a Watchmen reference? Or was that Captain America? I can't remember. I don't think that's Captain America. Captain America would say something like, I could do this all day. I tell you, oh. <laughs> Completely outside of the anything I was thinking of. I tell you, the end to end game. I think, uh, I think had Steve Rogers died fighting Thanos, but as he's fighting him, um, um, he stands up and he goes, "I could do this all day," and he keeps going until he falls. Like, mm, almost makes me cry thinking of my at a flood of like tear duct activity right here thinking about him saying that. It's just it's so huge. I like how the movie went, but like that would have been epic. Okay. 
Checkers aren't perfect here. Yeah, I think I really need to let that manually dry um, and not heat it um, so it'll just conform better. And then tomorrow I can come back in, or Friday, whenever the next time I get to sit on paint, we'll come back in and we'll, um, I'll be able to um, put some matte over it. I also want to um, black out the area right there where it dips in above the, the back of the knee. I think that'll look... Uh, a lot better that way. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna leave that with the micro saw and let it do its thing. Alright, let's check out the basing on these guys. Hey, you starting to get some nice little cracks. Very cool. How's this guy look? Not as many cracks on that guy yet. I fear I might have messed this guy up with the hair jar, but we'll, uh... Let's see how it happens. Okay. Let's see here. Alright, so, all those little, Bella, I dropped something on the floor. Ugh. It was me. No one's at the door. Woo. Don't be a tight fit. Alright, so, um... I was going to show something. Right. right, 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 right. So earlier we were talking about my lances. My lances. I look at you. You are you're rewarding the behavior. That's okay. Yeah, she thought someone knocked at the door. I'm just, I'm just having a moment today, and not her fault. All right, so. Nice, 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 nice. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. All right, so uh, we were talking about previous lances. Here's my T-bolt. And my new T-bolt. I thought I had done checker pattern on his leg. I guess I didn't. Actually, these are he's vastly different than, <laughs> than I thought. I thought he had a stripe all the way down. He didn't. Interesting. I tried different stuff. Whatever. So yeah, so um, there he is. There's the purple. Two go with him, and then um, we've got JoJo did some for me. Let's grab a bigger one from Joe's. Of course, they're at the bottom. Every time I need something, it's always the very last tray. Uh, these are. Yeah, it's the same model. He's on a different base. He's got a thin base, but same model. Alright, so. 
from Jojo. This is the other Lance. Let's see, he did um, a gold and a silver stripe, which is similar to these. I just did one stripe on that. Um, I don't know if he did it on all of them. Yeah, he did. He did gold and silver. Um, and he, he's got his own like little flare because it doesn't go down the leg. It's on the torso, and then the leg has a little stripe. But it still fits uh, a theme, black metallic stripes color. color. So, the question is, I need to form a second lance, or a third lance, what we're going to work on next. Um, I have some mechs here. I need to figure out what we want to do. So, uh, I want to conform to um, a similar unit composition as um, the other lances. And I want to... What? Alright, whatever. You weren't in that, were you? There's no way you didn't fit in there. Alright, so... Um, what I would like to do is to determine what mechs we want to pick. Um, so I've got a variety here, um, still Inner Sphere, haven't dipped into any clan um, Merc mechs yet. Um, I kind of want those to be a little bit more unique, like Lance Commanders and stuff. Uh, so, um, I'm thinking, I've got a variety here, I've got a variety. So we've got, I've done a Battlemaster, we've got a Catapult here, we've got an Archer, we've got a Marauder. Um, we got, um, that's Dark Age era. That's my Malice. Uh, he could be the Assault. That would be, that would be cool. Um, uh, we got Wolverine, which I hate. Another Commando, Locust. We got the Shadow Hawk. Um, we got the Warhammer. We got a Rifleman. Uh, I do have another Irby mech coming. Uh, I added an extra one to the Kickstarter, so I have another Irby mech coming. Uh, but it's mostly so he could be a troll. Um, so he could be, uh, I could paint one to look like R2-D2. Um, so I do want to have a heavy, uh, a medium, a light, and an assault. Um, so, Clan Wolf is the Marauder. Marauder's a heavy, isn't it? Is this a heavy, or is that an assault? So he's a he's a a a, a heavy assault mech, or uh, excuse me, a heavy heavy mech. Um, I think the Marauder Two C is an assault mech. So, um, for heavy options, we got him, we got, I believe the archer is a heavy, uh, for assaults that I've got here for Lance composition, we've got a, uh, Fafnir, or Fafnir, uh, Malice, we got a Fafnir, um, Um, this guy got a catapult. We got a lot of heavies. Um, it's two different archers here. Um, I don't know which is which. I guess it's mostly just a repose. Um, kind of like that one better. I got the other marauder pose, which is, uh, I guess there's the, um, Carlisle Grayson, Carlisle, uh, the Death, uh, uh, Death Legion, Great Death Legion. Um, um, oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, we might be limited on the lights. All right, so mediums. I got Shadow Hawk, lights. I got a Locust. 
and a commando. We've got the Wolverine. It is not my favorite mech, but we got a Wolverine here as well. I've got the Phoenix Hawk. I've got the Wasp. I think I got those. No, this is a Phoenix Hawk. Sorry. I think one was a Stinger. Um, whatever the hell this is. I don't know what half that shit is. I think that's the Phoenix. Hang on, let me zoom out here. Um, I've got, for my 3D printed stuff, I've got my Hellspawn. do have um, I'm not sure I want to use those variants so those will stay in here for now and I've got um, a rifleman and a warhammer so um, assault mech wise we've got the Fafnir and the Malice I don't know what I know the, the Malice is Dark Age um, I'm not sure where the Fafnir lands. Uh, Jihad era and Civil War. So 3062 to 3067. And then 3068 to 3085. So is what it is that's what I got for assaults I could I could go with dual heavies and no assault I could so I, I need I need some feedback from you guys to building the next lance here so those are assaults I believe the rifleman's a heavy 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 I believe he's a medium he's a medium He's a medium, and I believe these are all lights. So, um, I think having an assault would be cool, but we could skip an assault and do double heavies. Um, so, feedback from the Think Tank. Twitch land, what do you think should be our next lance? I'm happy to pick up mechs and show you. Um, I know the commando, so we'll slide him over. I know him. I know the, uh, locust. I know those two. I believe this is a phoenix hawk. I think he might be a medium. Is he a medium? You have four gun, dude. Always better. Um, I think, I think the phoenix hawk is a medium. Medium. All right, so medium phoenix hawk. Um... I don't know what the rest of these are. I know one's a wasp, one's a stinger, and the other one might be a clan mech. What are these? Clan wolf, brain trust, think tank, people from the stream. So, Valkyrie, wasp, stinger, are these lights? So, stinger has the antenna. Assuming he's a light. Are these both lights as well? Okay, they're all three lights. Okay. All right, so we need to make our lance here. So where's Clan Wolf? Where the where the hell's Clan Wolf? Clan Wolf, why we we need your feedback, sir? I need you. I need you to tell me things. If, uh, if we dip too far, because I think these are all clan invasion era. These are not. These are late. Uh, if I end up dipping into those, that opens the opportunity for a clan mech. One, two. Oh. That's fair. And you said... Um, sting so this is a stinger. This is the Wasp, and this is the Valkyrie. 
Well, outside of trolley things, we've got to form a lance here. Now, I've already got these two in lances. I have a command and a locust already. I could re-replicate them, but I like having some variety, which is good. Um, um, oh. Um, well, they predate the clan invasion, so they would have been around uh, for the clan invasion. Um. So, uh, we got the Fafnir, and these are, these are post-clan invasion, 3060-something. We got the Malice. Uh, I'm trying to, um, limit 3D printing. I have some. I'm trying to limit it so that I'm painting what I got. Um, I have a lot of print to shit, um, and I've given a bunch away to friends, um, um, but I am trying to limit because I have so much stuff. Um, so we got Rifleman. I'm also not as worried about it being super good as in looking cool. That's kind of what I did. I built, I built my other lance. I made sure it was similar point total to everything else. And uh, my other lance, so it was roughly even and just built that. Um, so Rifleman. I think this guy looks pretty dope. So we got the Marauder. We got the Archer. Now I've got uh, I've got a Warhammer painted. It's just not the official one. So we got a Warhammer. Got a catapult. That's the heavies. We got a Hell Spawn. Uh, that might be Dark Age as well. Um, Uh, no, jihad and uh, clan or, uh, and civil war. So it, it's it's in the same realm as uh, these two. These two and this one is um, um, I'm pretty sure dark age. Yeah, this is dark age for sure. That pushes the timeline out pretty far. So uh, if we do an assault, probably this one because he's just after the clan invasion, thirty sixty or thirty fifty eight, whatever it was, and he got he can fit in there too. Um, Um, and then for the mediums, so we got the Hellspawn, we got the Shadowhawk, which I think I've got one of those painted already, I think. We've got the Wolverine, which is my least favorite mech sitting up here, but we do have it here. We got the Phoenix Hawk. Then we got the, was it Valkyrie Stinger, or Valkyrie Wasp Stinger? Commando Locust. Um, I like my lances being a little bit more. I mean, if I did heavies, that's four of those. Um, I kind of like having them a bit balanced. That's why I like having like my current thing. It's been um, I got an awesome, herb, awesome, an urban mech. Um. Which I think he's a light, if not he's close. Awesome urban mech. And then I guess I have two heavies because of the Thunderbolt and the Warhammer. And then I've got um, the Battlemaster, the Locust, the Thunderbolt, and the Griffin. And um, the there was a, a weight difference there. There was slightly things were slightly different. That's why this one worked out the way it was. Um, so I, I I don't know. Um, it's probably not as fluffy, but I like having, you know, because you have one of these guys in every lance, which is like your scout, and uh, like each lance kind of being its own cell, I guess. Maybe that's the way I look at it. Like my mercs, maybe the, um, the lances function as cells. Like, um, um, I don't want to say terrorist cells. <laughs> uh, um, let's see. Um, yeah. Um, hello, Bella. This one's a medium. Uh, 
Hello, Bobo. I can't play right now. I'm sorry. I feel like we might be putting uh, Digging that one. I really like the Marauder. Uh, what's up, MC? How you doing? Um, I think I've got a Shadow Hawk already. Let me look. I like trying to have a little variance. Here. Let me see if I've painted a Shadow Hawk already. I think I did. Just a Griffin. No, I didn't. I didn't. I've got a Griffin in here. Um, let's see here. Uh, it is. That's only part of it. I got. I got more sitting here too. We're we're trying to build a lance here. Um, let's see, Phoenix, Phoenix Hawk, um, there we go, yeah, so he's dirt cheap, he's like 27 points, um, yeah, there was stuff at the shop that was pre-painted, um, hey, awesome, um, Which, which one is this? This is the Valkyrie. He's speedy, got jump jets. Um. I kind of like his head um, and his pose. That guy's kind of cool. This was the wasp or the stinger? Yeah, he's he's super cheap. He's like he's like nineteen points. Um, Sorry, right, so let's 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 make it between these two. I like those two. Um, visually speaking, we'll take the 3D print out. We'll save him for another thing. Um, I really fucking hate the Wolverine. I think he's ugly. <laughs> I really do. I really do think he's ugly. Uh, um. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna end up with like shit that doesn't make sense. The 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 <laughs> it does it has no cohesiveness because I'm just like it looks cool, so I want to play it. Oh, uh, that's where I'm at with BattleTech, guys. This is what I do. All right, let's see.
I do. I really like that one. I think I want to go with him. It's a toss-up. Alright. Um, I'm going to slide the Warhammer to the side for a moment because I already have one painted. Um... I wonder, I wonder what, um, Is my sort not working? All right, there we go. Okay. So, and this was the Valkyrie. Put way too much thought in this. <laughs> and then the other one was a Wasp. Okay. Now... There's a lot of variants of the Marauder. Let's just take a peek peek here. Um, that is not the right Marauder. Um, I'm just looking for a standard Marauder. So they're cheap. He's also cheap. The Marauder is a cheap unit to field, as is the Archer. Um, yeah, I like digging the Archer. Um, he'll be a good uh, um, missile guy. Um, so catapult, you're out. Warhammer, you're sideboarded. Um, Let's look at the Rifleman. Okay, sort by date, predate clan invasion. Let's check you out. Hmm. He is also very good. He's good. He's good. They're cheap. Yeah. Let's look at something else here. Let's see. Um, all right. So we've got an urban mech. He's 16 points. We've got an awesome I probably should have just wrote this down so I knew kind of what my point totals were looking like. That I was, I want each one of my lances to be about the same amount. So for pickup games, I just grab and go. Uh, Thunderbolts. Let me give it 
take two points. And then Warhammer. All right, so let's get our calculator here. And let's see what we got. So 133, so somewhere in that vicinity seems reasonable. Um, And if I want to keep it in the 133, give or take a couple points, that would leave us with around 20 points to field if I did um, those three. That would be three heavies. Um, if I did it, I could just do a fourth heavy. Um, do the heavy lance that Joe was talking about. Um, Tough decisions. I figured I'd be able to uh, supplement here and there. But these will be, um, I mean, I'll have. This will be my fourth lance. So I've got tanks and stuff I need to paint. So, um, he's What do you guys think of this comp? I kind of think that's cool. It gives me an assault, a heavy, a light, a medium uh, for that. Um, it's too many good mechs. I mean, he does push the era up a little bit to the 3060-something, so it could. He's 50-something points, 55. He a chunky boy. Do, 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 do. See what that is. Um,
Okay. Um. Nope. Wrong button. If I was aiming for the 50 point mark, that leaves me with 37. I could run, um, what you call it, a heavy support lance? Is that what you call it, Joe? With four, uh, four heavies? I mean, if I did those four... That's almost right on the money for 150. Because that Warhammer, depending on the variant, um, let me just sort my points here. Um, I mean, there's a, and then the era. So, like, there's, there's a 38 pointer, 38, 38, 37, there's a 36, I need 37, 37, 36. The, and they've got them. That's clan, that's 3052, so it's during the clan invasion. Uh, there's the 6D, that's 2835, predates Clan Invasion, 36 points. Um, um, the Warhammer 7S, during the Clan Invasion, 3050, and he's got Overheat 1, 4 damage at mid-range, putting it to 5 with the, the uh, Overheat, which seems really cool. Um... Um, I could run a little bit lighter, could drop that, and I could run these three as like fire supports like these two for kind of tanky-ish, but long, he's tanky, kind of uh, longer range, just shooty-shooty, and then him in tandem with something fast moving for spotting. Um, it would still be four heavies. Um, that archer's damage value is bananas, man. Um... At mid range, he hits for five. It's absolutely bananas. So I'm really, I really want to throw the archer, and I also don't have a um, a, a missile boat. Um, so, uh, and that's literally what he's listed as. Uh, so I really like him as being like the the blapper. Um, And I think some of its aesthetics, like the Marauder, looks really, really cool to me. Where did this picture go? Did I delete it? I think I deleted it. Alright, let's bring him up. Oh, that's fair. I mean, at that point, A, I'm not, not that worried about it, and B, um... I could just mix and match my models at that point because they're painted. Um, so, like, the Marauder 5D's 37 points. Um, he's 41. He's the Bounty Hunter. The Marauder 4X is 33 points. 39 points. 93 points. Or 53. That's what this. Oh, it's a 2C. That's why. Um, now, so, there's a couple different options here. Um... I don't like when I go back that it sorts differently. That's very agitating. Um, also, wish it wasn't showing the Marauder too. Um, yeah, so it's looking like I'm, anything I pick is probably in the the thirty to forty point range. Um, yeah, I mean the the rifleman. At mid range, I don't know what weapons he's supposed to have. He does four at mid range. Long range, he's poo poo, so he's a mid range guy. He does five or six. He's doing like three. He's like five three three or five three two or something at the one variant, and he's you know somewhere in between. 
Um, it's it's more just trying to pick something that fits and um, the points are, are semi comparable to the other stuff that I've done. Um, All right, well, you guys have seen this stuff. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break, and we'll um, grab the treats for the dog. We'll come back, and we'll chat about these mechs. Think about um, think about what might work, You're, like in, in points-wise, but also like aesthetics. I'm really worried about aesthetics, so I'll be right back in a few minutes. I think hit the button.
Hold on. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. I sat back down. You gotta wait till I move the camera. You tell him. You gonna tell him? You say, Clan Wolf, I want my treat. Nah. There you go. That's one. That's from Lando. Lando gave it to you. Say, yum, 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 yum. Mm. Is that good? Was that good? Is that a good one? You want another one? This one's from Clan Wolf. No, 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 no. Uh, so Clan Wolf on the Rifleman, I think it's the variant. Um, there's a bunch of different versions of the models. There might be a Rifleman that has better long range than mid range. Um, I don't know which version of the Rifleman I was looking at. I just grabbed one that, you know, was a certain thing. Here's a third one. No one claimed it. Did you get one more? One more. Yum, yum. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right. Those are all completed. Yep. Yep. Did that make you happy? Did that make you happy? Say thank you. Thank you. That was good. <laughs> I love you, Bibble. That's all you got. That's all you got. Um. Let's see. Um. Um. Yeah. So like the Rifleman 4D, his damage is two, two, and two, and he can overheat. Um, you know that's just another one I clicked on. It really depends on which one, because each variant's kind of different. So, um. but yeah, uh, let me get my headset on here. Bella, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. All right, let's see here. Let me see them on Discord, Facebook. I mean, I think this is looking great, man. The uh, battle armor is pretty dope. Um, what were you having trouble with? I think you could probably darken them a little bit with a wash. That might help a little. Um, or, because um, I see you're trying to go for like a transition, and that makes sense. Um, but um, your your separation between cockpit and, and um, canopy is, is very... Um, I don't want to say abrupt, but it's there. Like there's there's no separation. You know what we're, we're talking about. So that wash that creates more of a dark gradient on it might work. Um, on some of these, you could come in like this guy. Uh, what's that? The the Ryokin, um, Storm Crow. Uh, you could come in and you could literally just paint the frame around the cockpit black. Uh, it might not be 100% lore accurate, but it's going to break up um, the beige and the blue and have a different color there and you get that separation I think that alone would immediately help um, otherwise you could try the wash um, or honestly um, here here's here's my deal deal or idea uh, these are done and unless you're trying to spend a million years on them they're done you could just say whatever these are good enough I got them ready for the tabletop I ain't trying to be Justin and and spend 800 hours on a model these look good. You got 
Uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, uh, 13, uh, 16, 19, 20. You have 20 mechs done in the time that I've painted 3. So, uh, yeah, uh, I think those are really good. Um, it helps uh, make them stand out for a model that are so small. Um, I think those are good, and I think that Mad Cat right here, Timberwolf, his, um, his canopy is probably the, the cleanest of all of those. There's a bit of a difference between his and that one. I don't know what you did, but like that one, you probably see that too. I'd be shocked if that wasn't one of your, your favorite ones, canopy wise. Um, yeah. But yeah, that looks really good. But honestly, for getting stuff on the table, uh, based on the speed with which you've been um, trying to get stuff done, like that seems perfectly fine to me. I like it, and uh, I wouldn't stress too much over it if I was honest. Oh, uh, that's fair. That's fair. All right, so let's do let's do some quick uh, some quick notes here. Let's write down what I've got. Hey, what are you doing? All right, so we got T bolt. We got a locust. Why did I put a T? Locust. We got a battle master, and then we got a griffin. Probably spelled it wrong, but whatever. That's this is this is formerly Glen Wolf. He got promoted, and well, depending on when I'm using him, he is run around a Strigoi, depending on the time frame. Uh, we got another T bolt, which is uh, oldie but goldie. We got an awesome. We got an Irby, and then we've got a Warhammer. So that is a heavy, a light, an assault. And a medium. I think the Griffin's a medium. Uh, we got a heavy, an assault, a light, a heavy. Um, and that is because the urban mech is so cheap on points that uh, it allowed me to bring in two heavies. Um, so um, I really like having a light mech in there. I like having an assault. I don't have a lot of assaults that are in um, in the same range um, uh, time frame. Like he is very, very close. If we're playing right after the clan invasion, he fits. Um, but I've got two heavies, assault and a light. That could just as easily have been three heavies and a light. This one's a heavy assault and a medium. That could have easily been um, two heavies um, and a lighter assault and a light, or could have been um, three heavies and a medium or and a light, whatever. So. I'm not as worried about it. I need to lock down what I want here. Um, if we're not going to do um, an assault mech, I need to figure out what I want to do. You see, the Malice was introduced in 3139. So he's a, a bit, a bit um, up there. He also fills a similar role to this guy, who's very similar. He's just tankier. Um, just tankier. So. Um, I think we were looking at three heavies and maybe a light, maybe, um, I do have another battle master and another awesome, but I really don't want to overlap. I'd like to do an atlas, but the plastic atlas is not out. Um, yet, um, I really like those. Um, I feel like these be like him being longer range, him being fire like a uh, mid range tanky or support, him being a um, uh, artillery piece with a spotter would be good. I'm leaning towards the Shadowhawk and those four. Um, that's what I'm leaning towards. Rifleman, the, one of the variants is 31. That's 37, so that's 68. Um, Shadowhawk would be 29, so that's uh, 117. Um, 
and then the archer would put me over. The archer would be 100 and... We are the Emperor's chosen. 55, 162. It's a good, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for the sub. Also, Memoff, thank you for the biddies. Thank you for the biddies. That's uh, 20... Holds us. 25 months there, Dagoon, and uh, the 27th sub for the month. Thank you. I appreciate that. Alright, so... Um, I could... The Phoenix Hawk is 29 points. Um, I could drop him down for the Wasp. And that is this... No, this is the Valkyrie. This is the Wasp. He just has very little antennas. And that'll be like his spotter. And then... Um, uh, I think you did mention it. I feel like you mentioned it. Um, that would drop me by 14 points. And I think that would put me in range. So, how is this? How's this lance look? We got Marauder. We got an Archer. We got the Rifleman and a Wasp. Is that stupid? Um, I would probably do a blue if you've got Drakendorf Nightshade over Nolan Oil. Um. Because it's got a blue tint to it. Uh, Dagoon, that's, uh, that's some of the problems I've had with um, slow grow type stuff too. Is um, uh, or leagues like there could be some disparity issues for sure. Um, I feel like these guys working in tandem, Spotter, Dudikins, good idea. Uh, kind of a snipery guy and then a more tanky kind of guy um i really would like to throw an atlas in there somewhere but heh <laughs> tap blue tone. yeah if you really wanted to do that stupid stuff you could do that if you wanted to um so i'm thinking i'm thinking this might be the next one Look at that Marauder one more time. It shouldn't be this much thought going into me trying to pick something. Do you have anything that's blue? Any blue. Alright, so I got no um, retorts. I think this is going to be Lance number four. So that's going to be a little bit more on the green side. Uh, yeah, uh, Dagoon, um, when I've done slow grow stuff before, we've had limitations on models. So like in 40k, if you were doing a slow grow uh, at 500 points or something, um, most of the time people are like, yeah, you can't bring Gilliman or Mortarian or Magnus because at those point levels they just shit on everything. My second lance, Mem off what? Um, clarify for me if you're if that's what you're asking. My second lance. Uh, Joe, what did you use for the blue that you already have down? So, Joe, you could probably mix a little bit of that contrast with black and make your own wash out of that. 
If that if you like that blue, just make a slightly darker version and make a wash with it. Um and Memoff, um I'm not sure. Um I really I really want to work I really want to work this guy into something. But I don't I don't know. I don't know. Um I've got a variety of things. Uh, I've we'll have more plastic coming uh in the next few months. Um, I've got a trade pending for stuff. I've got more 3D prints. So like we've got the uh, the Shadowhawk here. We've got the Warhammer here. Um, who might okay? That's good. That's, he's tall enough for that. Um, and then I've got you know I've got my, my Phoenix Hawk, the Valkyrie, the Wa or not, Wasp, the Stinger. We got the Wolverine, Commando Locust, um, another Shadowhawk. I got my more 3D prints here. I've got a uh, Shadowhawk, a Griffin, a Uzio, a Hellspawn, a Catapult. Um, I've got more of my clan mechs down there. I got Fafnir. I got the Malice. I, I really do want to find a way to use or, or to justify painting the Malice because he looks really, really cool. Um, it just hasn't come up yet, um, timeline wise. Um, I've also got some clan mechs for my Mercs um, that uh, post clan invasion um, are, um, are salvaged or bought or whatever. Um, so my, um, um, let me get this up here, rotate around, um, so, like, this is for me, uh, I'm piloting a, a mad dog in the universe, so I got one, um, and then I've got duplicates of the summoner and the hellbringer, and, um, the the Timberwolf. So I want one each of those in my mercenary uh, company. I do not want each one of those in the Lance. Um, I want them to be Lance leaders because uh, they're in clan mechs. They're premium. They're expensive to field in in the the lore. In Alpha Strike, they balance it out pretty well. Um, it's not necessarily fluffy, but it makes the game balanced so you can play. Um, and everyone gets you know cool little stompy stompies to put on the table. Um, so. Uh, I figured doing some lances themed with these guys as the lance leaders would be cool. That puts me at four more lances minimum, uh, and pushes my timeline forward. So like my captain or my uh, my character is, exists in the um, um, the Dark Age era. So you know him leading a lance. Maybe it's this guy plus the malice and uh, a medium and a light might work out pretty well. The malice is uh, kind of a tanky mid range um, auto cannon slinger. Uh, this guy would be ideally probably I mean, probably also mid range and alpha strike, but he's got the missiles uh, and then some stuff that gets in your face would be cool. Um, and then maybe do another one where um, the uh, one of the other clan mechs is a lance leader and it's got the Fafnir in there, and then you know do some other stuff. So there's some options for things that I want to do. Um, it's just a matter of getting around to to doing it um, and the mechs coming out. I also have a lance with a. Um, uh, an atlas in it. Uh, the new one looks really cool, so I'm pretty stoked to get that when it comes out. Um, but there, there's not there's not as much thought going into this as one might think, because I don't know half of what the hell's going on. That one cracked really really nice. Um, I don't know half of what's going on uh, with the stuff. I just pick things that look cool, and then hopefully there's rules that work with them. That's kind of uh, kind of where I'm at. And then, honestly, um, I'm painting air quotes lances that ideally function together, but in the the game, like, if I decide to mix and match, it really doesn't matter. It won't look quite as cohesive, but lore-wise, it's like maybe they got redeployed or repositioned or, you know, separated. It is what it is. I just want something that looks cool, basically. Rule of cool.
those areas probably suffered because they got hit with the um, the hair dryer and messed up the process there. Okay, so got that layer down. That'll crackle and it'll be ready for a wash and then some basic basing. For sure. For sure. Now right, let's see how your decals look in. Oh uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think that dried up quite nicely. We'll see. Usually airbrush this stuff on. But yeah, when the um, the new models come out, I'll be really excited to build a, a lance that has the uh, atlas in it. I think that'll be pretty awesome. the dry and see if it needs another coat. And then at some point I need to start working on my um, um, my clan stuff. Okay. And I think while well, these bros are drying might try and prep these other guys for a little bit of airbrush. At least get the um, um, primer down before we leave today. Before we leave. Okay. It looks so cool. I guess the other question is, is what color do we um, theme this lance? So it'll be black. What color? Get our airbrush. Handy dandy Patriot 105. Mm. Ooh, that thing is uh, stuck. Mm. 
been a minute. Hmm, what is causing my needle to be stuck so far? Oh, I see. There's some grime on here. Alright. pretty good about cleaning that stuff off, but I suppose this time I was not. Why am I losing my mind today? There it is. Alright, so let's throw down some black primer on a mix. There's number two. Yep, gotta refill some primer here. That is good to go. Got a little bit more area to get up under. Okay. 
Okay, I think I've gotten pretty much everything on him. Was uh, pretty painless. And I'm all right. Let's go ahead and get four bias here with a little, a little, bit, a little leaky paint here. I forgot there's some areas I need to clean up, whatever. We'll prime it, and then I'll break this off and I can hand adjust that later. It's not the end of the world. I thought I had done that at the beginning of the stream, but I was so flustered today with nonsense things continuing to happen that I forgot. I think that is pretty good. All right. So hopefully we'll be dropping some more, um, some color next time I paint. Maybe Friday? Maybe, we'll see. Um, would be cool. Hose, I just need you to stay. Come on, thank you. There we go. All right, let's get a primer back over here. Cleaning solution and alcohol. Right. And let's take a peek at our Thunderbolt's leg here. I'd say it matted down quite nicely. So a couple black lines we might be able to tackle before the stream is over. It's like, you took me off my stand, buddy. Okay. So, there is a panel back here, which I can see, and I want that to be blacked out, because it's the recess. And then we want this line above it, right around here.
Okay, I do want to kind of touch up right here. And then we're going to come in here and we're just going to black out right in there. And it's going to look a lot better with that checker pattern not being down in there. But it did wrap around quite nicely. I will I will get at that. right nice so these guys will be the um, uh, let's zoom in here my headset's calling me no um, um, there we go and so you can see where the crackle paint slightly different color has not fully dried yet on the extra stuff I put down Once that's done, I'll put a wash over the top that'll dry and get into the recesses of cracks, but it'll be a coat that pulls everything together so that the flakes don't fall off as easy. And then we'll base them, throw a couple of grass tufts down, ring them black, and uh, they'll be done. In a very good good way. Um, and I tell you, I really like that Steinle Rose Black. It does work. I'm going to try and um, continue um, trying new things with our new dry brushes from Army Painter uh, here. And I will try to um, uh, continue going a little bit faster with stuff. I don't know how well it's going to go. We'll see. i got to figure out how I want the uh, division on this guy to be. And i got to figure out what color I want. Um, I kind of thought about going like white, um, a really light gray and a white, but I feel like that might contrast too much with the black. Um, I don't want to do green because I want my guys to do green, but I'm limited on what I could pick. I might have to start just overlapping on colors. I, I don't want to do yellow on them. Not this unit. I'm not sure why I just didn't want to do yellow. Um, um, could do red, could do orange. Where well, I do already have a red, I already have a purple, I could do purple again. I could just have various different units with similar colors, or just do the metallic stripe in between different so that they're a different unit. My initial purple was with gold, this one could be purple with silver. If I want to do purple again. Um, Joe did gold silver, I could do a, a straight metallic line on these if I want to do um, red again. I don't want to do blue right after. Um, oh my god, we have orange. It might look too um, Halloween y. Um, let's see, what do we got here? So, this is. Um, this per <laughs> Excuse me. This is purple. Uh, this is blue. Um, Joe's lance for me is red. I could do, um, I could do variations of these, um, and I could stick with, um, purple, blue, and red as the lances, and, or the 
breakdowns for the company because uh, I'm, I'm supposed to be like a company commander and each lance has a variety of different uh, or each section you know we've got the three sections one two three there's a variety of different mechs with those colors so you can mix and match that would work and then i could just paint lances um you know four at a time with colors i like that would be cool um which would keep me with these three colors and then green could be um the elite guys the elite leaders so like my clan mechs that are mercs they'll have green they'll stand out um over all the other ones because the, the the green ones the odd man out they won't be full lances they'll be individual models um that could be cool could be cool um yeah i don't know it's just interesting trying to create your own lore your own universe or own little take on the universe for what you want your mechs to be uh or your your story to be for them um trying to keep it cohesive if i had it to do it over again i would have made purple the um the commanders um i still could but then each one of those would be a commander and i don't want that because um, i didn't think about it at the time so i think that's what we'll do that's what we'll do um i think that's cool because i feel like otherwise we're going to start getting into rainbow and i think orange or black might look too halloween yellow or black looks too yellow jacket purple black blue black red black those all look fine um green black will look fine um but I think yellow and orange are going to look not great with black. So, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. I think each one of these will be a, um, a point of our, our triangle, so to speak. It'll be the points of it. Um, and then the green will be the, the kind of center, the command structure um, that links them all together which which would make sense um as a lance is created by four um we've got three points purple blue red green being the center the uh these commanders pull from one of those they are the odd man out they're the fourth if they need to be and they'll grab whatever they need from these to make a lance uh making the four um so yeah i think that's interesting creating creating a universe creating a lore creating a um a thing of your own um it's a little bit of stress that's involved, but cool nonetheless. Cool nonetheless. So, uh, that said, guys, we are to the end of the stream, and you guys got quiet on me. You got, you lost your chatter chats. Nobody talking to me. Um, but it is time to get ready to start signing off. Anyway, um, you guys, a quick peek at what we've we've got here that we primed up. We got our archer. I guess you guys, it's hard to see because it's black on black at the table. Dragon's still here, silently but deadly. Rifleman. And then we did uh, the Shadow Hawk. There's some areas I got to reprime. There's a few areas on this, this barrel that I need to shave and reprime. But yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with how that's all turned out. Um, I'm really excited to be working on some more mechs. I, I feel like on Twitch, there's a handful of you guys who really like Battletech, and then a lot of the viewers are just not into it. But I'm enjoying it, um, so that's kind of where we're at. Uh, hey Java, what's up, man? Um, I do want to circle back around to get one of my um, stars for my uh, my clanners painted up, um, but we'll we'll get to it in our own time um, as we do. Um, maybe I'll um, maybe before I get to working on these, maybe we'll circle back and I'll finish that that star, and then we'll start working on these again, maybe. Um, so. Um, I did talk to Austin, I, I put a bug in his ear about a, um, a logo, a graphic for my company. Um, I'm not sure what would be cool, but, uh, if you guys have thoughts or ideas on what would be a cool, um, um, icon or logo for them, uh, for the MFA, um, let me know. Tell me your ideas. Um. 
whether you just have an idea, you sketch something, or you saw a picture that has certain aspects you think are cool, let me know, because I'm not sure. Uh, and if we, if I come up with a, a concept that Austin can create for me that we like, I'll uh, fire off the graphics to Fighting Piranha and see if they're um, they're willing to uh, print me some sheets for decals. Um, um, I'm probably spelling this wrong. Um, let me see here. Okay, yeah, that's right. I can't remember if it's two R's. Um, yeah, it's two R's. It might be U M instead of E or E M or U M instead of uh, U uh, E M. I don't know. It's supposed to be Mortem Ferum Angelus um, M F A. It's really really bad Latin because um, it's like if I come over here, let's switch. Yeah, M O R T E M is is Latin for death or or dead or whatever. The idea is it's supposed to be deaths. Iron angels is what it's supposed to translate to. That does not. It's what's supposed to be. Each individual word is roughly mortem is roughly death. Ferum is roughly iron, and angelus uh, uh, is roughly angels. Um, roughly, but you put all three of those together, and I'm not sure what the meaning would be in Latin. But it sounded cool. Um, alternatively, uh, D I A. Uh, that's the two. Um, and that's that's my thought. Uh, Mortem Ferum Angelus, the MFA, or Death's Iron Angels, uh, DIA. Um, and um, mercenary unit, yada yada yada. Leader is a ghost knight from the Republic, and they know it, but the mercenary unit does not. Um, and he does stuff, uh, military engagements for the Republic when they want to have um, aggressive um, actions to take, but can't officially so unofficially the mercs do it uh, and they you know have plausible deniability that's the the story behind my unit or my the guy running it um um justin cloud hall uh and yeah clan wolf coming in motherfucking angels uh mfa um and yeah so i like the concept that i was coming up with with the uh the trinary and uh, not not in the sense that the clans do um, and Clan Wolf, I don't know if you saw that. Um, I was trying to figure out colors. I maybe maybe part of my logo should be a triangle, which is a little bit kind of like the Kellhounds, because I think they have a triangle sort of thing going on. But uh, trinary in the sense that uh, tri point um, three. So uh, here's our our doodle. Get stuff out of the way. My brushes. All right. So um, we got a triangle here. And then we've got each one of our um, our points of uh, the Merc unit. So we've got red, we've got blue, we've got purple. If there's an R there, and then the um, each one being a point, and then the center being green. And that way, um, these are the uh, the elite, the lance leaders, the company command structure. And when they need to form a lance and take command, they could pull from one of these. And a lance has four, um, you know, um, uh, people in it. So, you know, the uh, one of the commanders, one of the leaders, one of the named guys grabs, you know, one of each. Pull they they pull the requisition what is needed to create a more elite lance. And these guys can function on their own, or the thing that binds them, the command structure, um, pulls what they need, one from each or some variation in between. But the leader at that point being a guy with a green uh, green stripe or green and gold stripe being a named person um, an elite character uh, in my my force um, and that makes sense because those together and this is the thing that binds them and holds them and leads them the, the center of the triangle 
Um, that's kind of interesting. I think there's a lot more thought going into that than probably should. Um, if I had to do it again, um, I think I'd swap green for the outside and purple would probably be in the middle just because, I mean, even then it's kind of hard because red, red and blue make purple, but, um, you know, I don't know. I could, I could further develop my, my fluff in that maybe the, maybe we switch these, uh, in red, purple. I can't fucking write. Whatever. That's supposed to say purple. And perhaps, um... The red and the blue is where people start, um, and as they get promoted up the pyramid, up the the unit organization, they end up in purple, and then the green is where they, you know, the, the command structure pulls everything together. Could be cool. Um, uh, yeah, I agree with you. Um, which would make sense for it being at the top of the the the, the hierarchy here. Um, fucked up, and um, I didn't think of any of this when I was starting. I didn't think of it because purple being the command structure would have made a lot more sense. But I've already got purple mechs. Um, and that wouldn't, now, now it would just mess shit up, you know? So, um, I think green's going to be the way to go. Um, that's what I want to do. Um, but, but green being the outlier, um, uh, being the center, the top of the triangle being purple, blue and red are the bottom two points. They are the backbone that, that creates the foundation, uh, from which, from, from which you can ascend in your prominence and your rank within the unit um doesn't much matter where you are it's just which one of these two gets filled in as needed um you know so that's at the bottom and then as they as those two come together to a point and they're honed blue and red make purple and then um the command structure being green the outlier the one that doesn't fit um they're the ones that command everything else they they fall outside of that that would be pretty cool um i think there's a lot of cool thought that goes into that something utilizing a triangle maybe the circle or maybe a, a triangle with some kind of shield or something maybe um you know like that um with i don't know a wing in it or something um i don't know something with a triangle and some icon in it or on top of it um would be very cool um i think again i think i'm putting way too much thought into creating a mercenary unit for BattleTech, considering how often i'm going to get to play but this is the kind of shit i like to do um both in like in this and in, in, in minis in general like the, my dark angels um the atlas heads copyrighted or would likely be copyrighted i want something that uh, i can i can use and put on whatever i want if i want to sell it and never ever have a problem um so, but I do like the idea of a wing. Um, a wing is, is, I like the idea of a, a wing um, of some sort. Um, I don't want to do like a sword flying because, you know, Dark Angels, um, it could be a skull with a wing on it. You know, a little angry, so that's not anything. I'm just doodling here. Um, a skull, um, uh, I don't know, like the shield with the wing coming off, it seems cool. Um, Death's Iron Angels with the... Um, a skull and a, a, a wing sounds really really cool um but I, i'll i'm gonna i'm gonna pitch some of this to austin and see if we can't brainstorm a little bit tonight if he's if he doesn't mind helping me out um i think i think there's some cool things we can do here also i basically just designed the uh the third eye or whatever the the pyramid on the dollar bill the illuminati interesting but yeah, so that's my uh, that's my ideas, um, and I think that um, um, that'll open up the opportunity to paint mechs to represent stream viewers as well um, that have ascended to a certain status. I think that would be really really cool um, to have them as some of the lance leaders uh, or or the company command structure would be really really cool, um, and then they could be one off mechs, which would be pretty um, pretty interesting. So what I think I might do is as I paint. Um, different units uh, or, or lances to uh, fit in uh, having slight variations in the color is fine um, but changing the stripe or adding on stuff little things so like the black and the blue matching roughly but the stripe in between having slight differences gives them a little unique uniqueness and I think that's cool and adds a little character to them tossing in decals would be cool throwing in more herby mix now nah, he's just adorable I had to he was dirt cheap for points. He's going to get in there. He's going to black people. AC 20 to the face. Black, black. LBX 20. He gets to shoot once. And when he does, it goes black. And his, his mech just goes. 
does a 360, and then it goes click, click, kind of like a typewriter. Go ding, you know, ding, and it, you know, as it dings, you hear that click, 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 and he's ready to go again. That's that's what I imagine happening to him. So I think these will be pretty cool. Um, pretty cool concept so with that said guys uh we are going to uh have to sign off today i've ran over by more than i should have as i do once i get going on stuff um oh dude uh dagoon you're fine man i just you know i've been a little i've been a little down lately and just trying to um get my my ha hobby happiness back you know um it's fine. It, you didn't. You guys aren't doing anything wrong. Uh, I've just been, I've just been having a moment, a mood um, lately. It's been a little tough. Um, I was talking to one of the the stream viewer or streamers yesterday. Um, two of them actually, and we were talking about like growth, and um, and then subs and the difference between size and subs is astounding, and it's just another notch on the you know, feeling not uh, amazing. Um, about what I'm doing, um, so I don't know. It's been a lot, but I do appreciate you, uh, you guys, um, um, helping support what I do. So, uh, but we are going to throw a raid over to Steiner Miniatures today, guys. Uh, if you guys happen to go over there, hit that follow button, show some hobby love, and let them know who sent you. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate you letting me bounce some ideas off you. Um, I appreciate you guys sharing what you've been working on, particularly Joe. It's nice to have Joe hanging out for a little bit. Um, but I'm not going to be able to lallygag today because I am run. I ran over and i got to get ready to go. So uh, rest assured, please never doubt it. Always know it. I care about you. I hope you're doing well. I want you to be getting that hobby motivation. I want you playing games when it's safe. I want you painting models when you can. I want you forging narratives and enjoying yourself. That's what life is about. If you're not expressing yourself through your art and it feels like you're stressing out and it's causing anxiety or worries, then we're doing something wrong. So take those steps back. Make sure you're having fun painting. And try and lose yourself a little bit in this hobby that we all enjoy. Life can be cruel, life can grind us away, and life can be stressful. Have fun with the hobby. Forge those narratives. Take a lesson from me and, and look at these things and see more than just the battle mix. See more than just the models. And enjoy forging those narratives and having some fun. On that note, guys, we're going to go ahead and get this raid fired off to Steiner Miniatures. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. As always, keep painting those models, keep rolling those dice, and I will try to be on Friday. If not, I will see you guys on Monday.